All right, uh, you are welcome to metro analysis. Uh, of, uh, this particular section, we are going to look at our out of landmark uh, our database in 2D dimensional database. I mean, 2D set. So, um, first thing I want to quickly do now is to introduce also the data set first and how to acquire it as well so that uh, you can also go ahead and acquire it by yourself because I will not put it there because of the uh, policy uh, assigned with, along with it. So you can go online to download it. So we're going to be looking at a 2D data, data set actually. So go to this web page, MR2 Face Database. From here, you can, you can download the data set contain uh, three major uh, races, Africa, Asia, and uh, Europe. Okay. So there are 74 data sets, so there are 74 images. So you can download all of them to make your data better. I just uh, uh, download just uh, I use few of them. Uh, if you if you um, see my listing here, you can see that I have a because it's Africa. It's Africa faces here. All right. Uh, see um, Asia faces here. Okay. Also, uh, the European I, 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 faces, I use 20, 20 of each. 20 of each. Yes. So I use 20 of each. So you can also go ahead and do the same. Download your yours. Then uh, try to see how to follow up the data. The, the tutorial or the lecture, then you can uh, be able to do it on your own. So, or you can use any, any other data you like, any images you already have, you can group them in order to at least to do have multi races or any object, any species you have, you can use along along the tutorial. So, let's see how that be, how, how it looks like. If you look, we want to, want to landmark the face. First of all, I wanted to see the structure of the landmark. We want to use these are, 20, these are 22 landmarks, actually. So you can see where they are here and their description here. So that when we are, when you are landmarking, you'll be able to know uh, this, uh, the first one, the second one, you see, the carton left, and we also have uh, extra carton, carton uh, right, uh, left as well. That is number two, right? So we have a uh, three uh, super orbital left, and the infra orbital red left for three and four. So one, two, and we also have a three, four. All right. Um, okay, so this is a sample. This is a sample, actually. It's a sample. Uh, you can just uh, try to do your own the way you think that it's okay for you. So then uh, we still have the same thing for right. And uh, we also have uh, other data set like uh, uh, Nason, uh, which is a uh, here. Nason here, we have Pronase, we have Subnase, we have Alaria left and Alaria right. Uh, we have other one, Chelion, and the rest of them, you can see all of the data set here. Uh, Nathan, uh, Gonion, Zagion, uh, Gonion, uh, we, have, we have Gonion left, right? It's not Gonion right. So I see, that's a, this is a, I mean, 20, uh, 21. 21 is 21 is a uh, right this one is a uh, left uh, left all right so uh, this is a uh, for 18 18 is uh, 18 here um sorry sorry that is a that is a that's a not on not that's not that's not on that's, a nothing, that's uh, it doesn't have left so sorry for that not on so we have only a uh, gunion right Okay, we have Gonyon left, so this one is left too, but not on, not on, I have nothing left, so it is it here. So now you can locate this point, they are, they are biological points or anatomical points that you can use, okay? You can use on your own data set as well, so you can locate it and uh, check it if you can follow up with it. So that is that for data set description. You can go ahead and uh, digitize your faces as we go along using the two-dimensional uh, method. All right, so let's just quickly see how to digitize. Uh, uh, so that says we'll be taking, we have to uh, create the uh, first, create what is called a directory. Your working directory must be created. You can use a, 
uh, what do you call it now? Uh, our studio to make your cook easier and faster. Uh, you can also use our uh, normal UIR. So let's you have to install GeoMove. If you have not, but because I've installed, I don't need to install a fresh show. I just uh, uh, call the library. Okay. All right. So I've already installed, so I don't need to install a fresh So if you have not installed yet, just install Yumo. Uh, start with, then we set our library by creating a folder. All right. So let, let's uh, let our library. Um, let's create a folder. Now, directory we want to use for this next uh, class. Um, let's call it a unique class. So let's. So our, every, our, all our files will be, will be kept inside this place. Our images, everything, I want to keep them inside. So let's first uh, uh, copy those uh, those images and put them here first. Then to do digitization first. Then before we go further, so let's copy the images. I have them here. Uh, the images. I have, uh, Africa. Let me just see. Class. So I'm going to copy that here. So just add the other image. If you buy um, my cons. So you can copy all of them, just copy all of them, all of them here, all of, all of them. Uh, copy all of them. All right, so we have our data set already in our, in our folder, our, our folder, so you can set your folder now. You can set uh, the folder uh, so that you can do, I see, uh, set open directory now. Uh, we have a D, or D, uh, um, We have a Udemy, okay, Udemy, Udemy class. Let's browse it. Let me see. Let's, let's browse it directly. Let me see. Um, I to
It's a small letter, not a capital letter. It's a lower case, not upper case. So we have, uh, I've typed it now, set working directory. Uh, so we have set our working directory to Udemy class now. So we can now uh, assess our data set now, the images we put there. So let's first uh, uh, do that quickly. Let's start by uh, uh, coding the, let, let's, let's list it out. Let's expect um, to list uh, the price, the price. Uh, so we are going to use a grab function. All right. So that's it. By so this grep actually works for JPEG alone. So if you have your data uh, in another another uh, file extension, you have to convert to JPEGs because this list this method I'm using only works for JPEG files. So you can use it for other files by just converting it to JPEG. This method, uh, I mean. And you can, you can upgrade this particular line for multiple extensions, all right? So uh, let's now digitize now, digitize, uh, digitize uh, 2D, 2D, so we have our, 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 this is now specs, so we supply specs now to, before, before we supply, let, let's first look at the list of what we have. Let, let's see, JPEG fashion, we have, uh, let's, let's see, okay, uh, specs. So there's nothing missing there. So, so okay, there's something missing there. Uh, it's supposed to be dot uh, jpeg. Okay, see that's it. So that's so dot jpeg. I think that one's supposed to be jpeg. Uh, small letter pg. All right. So sometimes you have to check this properly because sometimes it may not uh, give you correct one. So let's 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 check specs again. All right, so we can see the JPEG file coming out now for uh, Europe. So other fashions, are, other ones are not uh, JPEG; they are, they are PNG. So that's that's need conversion to JPEG. And uh, but let's start with this first and see what we can do with this. So let's digitize now. Uh, digitize, uh, digitize, digitize uh, 2D. All right. So I'll show you a few examples. Then uh, we continue from there. Uh, next time, so let me just test to now. Uh, we could we supply our specs now. Our specs, so our, so our so number of landmark. I don't forget our landmark is a uh, uh, 22 landmarks from what we just uh, seen now. Uh, so don't forget that 22 landmarks. And we have the, the file you want to use TPS file. So what you want to use, you can you, you give the name. You want to supply and give the name you want. Uh, you can call it a name. So let's call it a TPS file. TPS uh, file. Uh, 2D. 2D. Let's, let's give it that name. All right. So uh, then motive multi on scale. Uh, let us this to force. All right. First, then we can fabos it to uh, to force also. Uh, fabos. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. What we have that's error. I use argument. Um, let's see fabos. Okay, small work this. This side is very sensitive, so you can see that. So it's good when you do some mistake that you can know what the problem really is. So go to small case later. All right, so let's see. Now this is our this is our, our data set. You can see the image now. So we want to digitize. So before we do that, you have to know what are you digitizing exactly in the faces. So this, this, this is a facial digitization now. Okay, so we, we need to bring up our sample you can see our sample here it's very good to understand this so you bring the sample this is one that's it first one one two 
three, four. It must be homologous. So if you are doing one here, everyone you have to do one for all of them. That is the homologousness of this digitization. It must it must 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 correlate, it must align, it must make it homology. So now this is this this is this one. This is also two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. That is subnazi. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22. So you can see, uh, uh, so this is how it got to be on each face, okay? On each face of the subject. So you don't need to, so you should, if anytime you miss them together, then you are going to be a problem. So you have to do afresh, that particular subject afresh. So let's try and see what I'm talking about. So here now, do one, the first one here now, one, and see. So I'm, I'm looking at, so you can, you, have, you can be looking at it to make it easier. So I'm looking at it now. I do one here now. All right, so let, let me, let me, so done. Mm. I'm trying to see so that I can bring it out so that you can be able to follow properly so that it can stay here. Okay, you can see now. One, so this one now, this is two, this three. Is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, we have twelve here, twelve, we have thirteen here, so we have fourteen here, fifteen here, sixteen, trillion. This 18, then we have 19, we have uh, 20, we have 21, we have 22. So this first one is done now. So this first, the next one, automatically. So if you, if you are doing the first one, automatically to show you, to go to the next, it's asking a question, continue to the next one, say yes. Just type Y, yes, press enter. To move to the next automatically. So this is how you do. So you move to the so now you can do the same thing now for this. You can see. See. Don't mind the noise. Okay. I, I just put it so that to show you show when when, when it is digitizing. So you don't you, you don't don't need to miss it. So if if it's not, you know that it's not digitizing. So you don't need to put the noise there. So I just down for I will I will stop the noise pretty soon. So I don't look at the, the that anymore because I already know the position of the landmarks. But you need to do that several times in order to, to master the position. So if you know the position, then you don't need to do that anymore. So let's do a one more. Yes. So that the size are you to do all of them one by one. I will show you the data now when we finish. Because I've already done this. So I don't need to do a fresh because of time. So I'm just showing you how to do so that they can follow up this tutorial in the class very easily. All right. So let's say no now. No, okay. I want to. Add, I want to stop. No, let me say no. Okay. So so that you can see for me, you can see for all the what I've done so far. So uh, all this one I've done so far has been saved now. So let's go and look at it in our folder. Okay. Let's go to the folder. Are you done the class? Um, okay, so this is the file here. You can see the file here. You can right click on the file and open in the other in your uh, maybe your word part. Notepad. So let's let's let this to Notepad, Notepad plus plus, and see the file. So you can see the file. Here. So landmark twenty two landmarks x and y. These are x coordinate, y coordinate. You can see the, the name of the file is this one. So you can, you can change the name later if you want to any name you want. You can change maybe zero one zero two if you like. But I'm removing this one. So these are the you can see landmarks. So we only need four now. So I'm going, to do, I'm going to do that for all of them, one by one, one by one, one by one. Don't forget, 
uh, the, the, this particular one needs to be, you have to have demographic information for these subjects. Don't forget, these are Africa. You have to open Excel sheets and put there Africa. For example, look at this. So that when you finish, you can, you can, say, you can be able to know which one is Africa as you are, are finished. You know, because look at their names. See their names here? Oh, see their names? Okay. See, see their names? Uh, their names showing uh, this one. W. It, the names come along with it. ID is their name. So you can know their names. So you can, you can be able to know each one is female, each one is male. You can, you can know the one AF, African female. Okay, African female, African female, African female. This one, uh, African male, African male, African male, African male, African male. This one is Asia female, Asia female, Asia female, Asia female, uh, Asia male, Asia male, Asia male. Because I don't want to use A again, so I use S for Asia. All right. This one is more, uh, W. Is Europe? Uh, it's white, so I use white instead of a W. So uh, white female, white female, white female. Then also you have white male, white male, white male. So they have their numbers. The number is not necessarily able to be a, a sequential. It can be some emission. So you have, just, you have to know how to arrange them. So we have 20 of each set. So this is how to test your 2D. So I will, in the next class, I will, see, I will show you how to arrange them uh, in order so that uh, you'll be able to follow uh, along the line. So uh, I will see you in the next class as we organize our data that we have digitized. Thank you so much. I'll see you in this class. All right.